Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today here we're at Curl Curl. Crazy time in the world. The reason why I'm starting to vlog again, I'm unsure of what my future holds in life at the moment. So I'm sure a lot of you out there have the same type of thing going on in your world. If you're lucky to hold an essential job, good for you. I'm really, really pleased. So make sure you uh, save and put that to work in your life. I'm really looking forward to putting out some more videos on the technique and uh, helping your game out to the future. Something to rely on, some content that you can always go to when in need for your game. What an interesting world we live in at the moment. You know, we've got this, probably can't say it, but this thing going around where we have to do a bit of social distancing. What better way to play a bit of golf, get down to a local golf club, support your club and learn the game of golf practice, play, great thing to do over a course of the day if you've got nothing to do and you're bored. So get out, enjoy the sunshine and um, start playing some golf, get involved. When you're starting golf in the beginning, a lot of things that people look for and to be taught at the start is the grip. There's many of grip types from the baseball grip to the overlap and then the interlock. And I'm just gonna take you through each of those and also show you how to kind of set up with them as well. Preferably, I quite like the overlap. We're gonna go and put our left hand on the grip, all right? What we're gonna focus with, with the first of all the three grips, is these two, pinky and I think it's called the index finger. With those, they're gonna be our main focus when putting it on the grip, all right? So they touch the grip first, like so. And then the next thing that hits the back of the grip, or the top of the grip, this part just here, is the palm, all right? So, but the back of the palm here is going to hit. So you've got these two fingers, the back of the palm. When they're on, you can actually have your left hand and fingers like a bit of a gun, like this. So really you should be able to control the club and move the club with just those three points. Look, I've got this finger on as well, but essentially with those three fingers and the palm, you should be able to control the club with just the one hand with these motions here. All right, these go on for a bit more control, a bit of extra balance. Once you've got the, the thumb down like this, the right one comes along and sits on this part of the head, okay? The only thing that's really gonna be touching the club is, is these two on the right hand and your pinky is gonna go in between the crease of here, all right? So as this comes on, between the, the pointer and the middle finger of your left hand and the pinky sits in between that groove and folds over like so. So really what's touching more so is my pointer finger of the right, the middle finger, straight through the creases here across the hand. And that's exactly what we're after there, all right? So once we put that on, there it is. And you'll notice that this hand actually sits on top and nice and high on the club like this. Reasons why the baseball grip doesn't work and you should actually change over to interlock or overlap is just because you wanna have some type of connection in the swing. All right, so we're always looking for that connection, that balance, that energy to uh, make sure we hit the ball efficiently. And so to do that, if you have a split grip, which is kind of what the baseball grip, there's chances are that you might be a little too far away, start to lose the balance of the club face. A lot of people do tend to start with the, the usual baseball grip, maybe not strike the ball as well all the time and consistently. So definitely in your practice, start with the baseball, but whenever you can, start changing to an inter interlock or an overlap grip. So that would be really good. 
thing to do. Overlap's pretty simple. Your pinky is gonna go in between the crease of here, all right? So as this comes on between the, the pointer and the middle finger of your left hand and the pinky sits in between that groove and folds over like so. The pointer finger of your left hand comes up and this one comes on like this in between that gap and goes on like so, okay? The only reason why I think the interlock grip doesn't work is later down the track when you hit a lot of golf balls, there's potential chance for your pinky to stray a lot from these three fingers with your right hand. So this will start to bend. There's a lot of uh, extra stuff that can go on medically in regards to your pinky having that interlock with the golf club. The third thing with a grip uh, is to make sure that you've got even energy in the hands. So when I say that, uh, for example, we talked before about the two fingers with the left hand going on first and then the, the palm meeting that with the gun. And what you want to try and do there with these is you want to have the most energy in those fingers there, all right, for your left hand. Now, the energy with the right hand when it comes on is a push energy. So if I've got the shaft here and I want to push to the other side my hand this way, it's this push motion that we need to imply on the back of the shaft going this way, all right? So it's going to be more like that type of push. And this hand is just kind of that support there for club with the balance. Okay, so when I put this hand on like this, and I wrap it around my hand like that, I've got some type of force where the handle is actually forward and in front of the club head, all right? This gives us some type of sense of direction to make sure that we're going to hit the ball this way, all right? And then we want to start to set up like that, like we're going out over there. So we've got some type of energy and balance this direction for the shot to go over here. We're getting a little bit this way and back off it and our handles back behind us we have some type of scared energy which means we're not really going to try and hit the ball over there but really we want to try and get away from the situation that we've got down below us so you'll notice that once i've got the grip down pat here and i add this right hand on like so how my upper arm looks here for my forearm to actually come out to connect to the grip, all right? So that's a really important thing because sometimes you won't get the grip right if we're starting out like this, our left hand off like this, and then adding on the grip like this. We actually don't get quite the right angles that we're actually after there. So bring these elbows in a little bit, get your back a little more back like this with your shoulders and this upper arm will actually sit down the side of you like this with the forearm coming out to hold the grip like so. Coming from the other direction here, you will notice that again, it's just falling down with this just coming out away from the body. And that's the space that you'll have to have in order for when you get the next phase and get some bend. All right, so that's the right hand on. Left hand is like this again. This one comes on like that, and you'll kind of see even the left hand's got that upper arm heading straight down to the ground, like so, and the forearm coming out and meeting with the right arm like this. Pressure's really important, we're heading off over there. Think about a little dot pin here, just on the back of the right hand, that is pushing this way. And that's kind of what we're after with that push, or that pressure, or that energy at the start with your grip. We're having some type of energy here going this way towards the target. So it's not really anything to do with the club head where the club head just moves on its own with the wrists here. You'll notice it's quite a lot of muscles all to 
together at once that actually maneuvers the club and everything kind of stays the same together. So wherever I go, and you'll notice that actually the, just the shoulders going around the upper with the spine, like this, that's maneuvering this club head. So my club head face is like that with our grip, like so. And when I move this, it's actually a little mini move up here compared to just the wrists that move like this. So impact bag's really good for you if you wish to build up the strength of the wrists so that way you don't have to lose the energy by moving them like this when they get sore and they can't actually sustain a bit of a hold type pattern or phase here through the ball. If you found today's video helpful, leave a like and a comment down below. Talk a little bit about your grip. Maybe you do a different grip. Maybe I didn't talk about a grip that you have thought about and we can later down the track do a video on that particular grip and, and what my opinion is on that grip too. So uh, definitely leave a comment, anything, please, silly ones, I don't care, whatever, meaningful ones, and take a bit of a look at them and see what we can talk about them in the future. And you can also follow me on, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I've also got an event that I'm wanting to get up off the ground called World Series Match Play. It's something where you can at any time play a match and go up a ladder over a certain period of time whether you're an amateur or professional and just kind of get involved socially without hurting your time by going to work or anything like that. You know, we, we definitely used to be before the economy fell. A bit of lack of time, way it was a chance to get a bit more in, involved in golf but not spend too much time at the golf course. You know, you just play your match, you win six and five and you just go home and, and you let the World Match Play Series officials know that uh, you've had that result and you move on to the next stage. If that interests you, make sure you drop a, a like in the World Match Play series uh, on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, love to see you in the future. Join that if you could. If you'd like to see more, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe.